So today I'm going to be uh, installing the Extreme Creations dual caliber bracket that holds the stock caliber, the wheel speed sensor, and a 108 mm uh, for a rear handbrake. And we'll see how this goes. But I don't have, I'm just going to be doing the install for this right now with the stock setup. I have to get the uh, rear caliber bolts because the caliber didn't come with them and the bracket didn't come with them. So you'll need a breaker bar. What is it? A 32? 32 mil for the axle, uh, 12 mil for your uh, chain tensioner. Um, I believe that's a. 5 mil allen for the wheel speed uh, 6 mil for the rear bolt on the stock caliber 14 mil and a torque wrench is all the tools you'll need pretty much break this loose Set the bike up on a stand. I would do it with impact, but I don't feel like using air tools right now. Oh, fuck. Hopefully, the angle's seeable on this. God, your stand don't get in the way. That's why I loosened it up before I put it on the stand. That and just for leverage. Um, if you're scared to get your hands dirty, wear gloves. Sometimes the uh, axle might be hard to get out. You might have to use a rubber mallet. But usually it's easy as that. Oh, keep that off the ground. Uh, probably recommended to take the caliber off before, which I didn't think of. So hopefully I can break it loose in my hand. If not, it's gonna suck. Uh, 14 mil, six mil Allen, which is probably gonna be the harder one of the two.
So the try to at least so the lubrication on it you don't have to re lube it set that nicely down uh, four mil allen on your wheel speed sensor the old one out dirty as hell uh, wonder yeah I probably should take this boot and take oh little fucker got away so you take that boot out of the stock housing put it into this one I don't know if it's gonna go in but we're gonna try to use it So we'll go and install the caliber on first. Mm. There goes that boot again. Guess it ain't gonna stay. Try again. We'll do it this way this time. Slide it on there and see if it goes that way. It's probably recommended to use uh, lubrication on these slide points. Uh, but I'll do that after. Do it my way, you know. Looks like they were using Loctite. I don't know what color Loctite's green, but it's either Loctite or some type of anti-seize or something. Snug these down until it gets installed, then I'll torque them to spec. I'm not sure what the spec is, I'll have to look it up. all the wheel speed this probably should be getting Loctite too but it's not like it moves nothing there's probably a torque spec for this but tight is tight and too tight is broken right See if I have any any C's or anything. Put it on there. Put a little on that fucking slide rail. Let's 
slide this into place, slide the wheel up. Make sure none of your bearings or anything fell out. This is the part where I recommend, if you have two people, use it because it would be very helpful to get the wheel up and into place. Recommended to lube this uh, grease of some sort. Mine is actually, it doesn't look it, but it's got a lot on it. It's all over my fucking hands. Oh, fuck. Might need a mallet for this part. Just tap it in place. Might be able to slide it like four quarters of the way in, and then you're gonna be fighting against it. <sighs> Which I think mine, because of my uh, stand. Is gonna be, the axle block is gonna get in the way. not because that means I'm gonna have to slide this back hopefully I can get around it I don't know if I can no oh, what am I hitting When you have an issue like this, do some sketchy shit, pick the bike up, and get it past it. Oh. Now, come back to this side, I'm gonna lift the tire and tap. And it's through. Slide this axle block in. And go to the other side. Get the axle spun if I can. Nah. Probably gonna just have to beat it in. To I'll get it to spin when I tighten it up. So in my uh, speed run of putting this in, this little uh, bracket, that's a slider for the pads, I forgot to take off the old bracket and install. So, uh, But it's no issue if you forget it. It's just the uh, two caliber bolts. Pop those off, slide the caliber off. Uh, literally pull it off with your fingers or a flathead and then slide it on the new one um, It'll keep the pads in place and keep them from fucking rattling around uh, Yeah, and then just install the caliber back on um, Yeah, just wanted to throw that in there. So people didn't say oh you missed a step uh, This is where mine stand gets in the way if I had uh, 
spindles wouldn't be in the way. Be able to do this without a problem. Slide the chain back on. Might have to loosen that up even a little more to get it on. One, two, three, four. So that side's good. I'll tighten this side and then I'll tighten the axle knot. One, two, three, Did 110, call it good. And Extreme Creations dual caliber install, or bracket install. Uh, I'm gonna run, get anti seize Loctite, caliber bolts. I think that's all I need to install the caliber. Um, That'll be a quick video installing that. I gotta run the brake line too. I'm not sure how I'm gonna run that. 80 inch line. I hope there's not a lot of extra. Cause a lot of people said the 70 would work. But they didn't give me an option on the site I got it from. The caliber and the line. For a 70 they just give me the option for the 80. Uh, Oh, I gotta tighten those the rest of the way. Like anything, it's brakes. With brakes, uh, tight is tight, too tight's broken, right? Make sure that still connects. Alright. The next video will be the caliber. Uh, I have the handbrake and the clutch to do. Um, fuck, I think I gotta get hand grips. Might have to get hand grips before I do that. I know I can install the clutch. No, I can't. I could do the brake. Unless I cut that stock bracket off. Maybe I'll just do that. 
the stock clutch bracket only has one bolt you have to slide it off or pry and kind of break the fucking metal because it's probably pop metal so I'll do that next probably getting rid of this don't need mirror anymore um got the clutch lever the handbrake got to run the line put the caliber on bleed it and that's everything I got so far and then at some point this summer a cage but yeah see you in the next one